Hacks. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to Overwatch and welcome to Coaching the Many. This is actually like a very, very simple intro that we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking a little bit about junk, well, two heroes in particular uh, today. There is actually like a third hero that's going to creep in for a couple of moments. It's just Solid 76. It was nice to see him pop up in this game. Uh, a couple of things before we begin. So first of all, the rating of the game. It's about 2,000, 2.1k on either side. Uh, even though this is a six stack, uh, I read the email and apparently this six stack was not actually formed out of like a normal six stack. It was formed by using the group up feature. And so what they did was they just kept using group up until they had a full six stack. So that's why the coordination on this isn't what I would call impeccable. Um, because with a six stack, you're expecting to be very planned and very concise and very sort Welcome of accurate. Overwatch, Hello there, YouTube D. Also, yay, three months, less than three. Hello there, YouTube D, indeed. Enjoy your new badge full of Pluto. Thank you for sticking with us for three months as well. Uh and yeah, like, so this isn't a normal six stack. I believe the enemy team might be a normal six stack. They've got a Korean on board, so who knows what they're going to be doing. Uh, but we're going to be looking at some Junkrat play, and we're going to be looking at some Diva play in particular, and focusing on those two heroes in particular. Uh, I'm well documented uh, on this stream on saying several times that I think Junkrat is probably the worst pick in the game. There are very few instances where Junkrat is actually a good pick. And I say that ahead of stuff like Bastion and Torbjorn and stuff like that. So, so, okay. There are a few instances where Junkrat is actually a good pick, and we're actually going to hey, see hey, them here. It's, yeah, it's, it's, Just turn this down a little bit while we do our intro, while we load in game. Bye, Twitch chat. Woo! Uh, as you your Twitch chat, if you have questions, save them towards the end, and then I'll be able to answer them then. Hey, we've got another sub as well. Twitch your let's. Welcome to our ah. Hey, Scribe Glynn. Welcome. Brando to the menu, get some scrub hype going. Beautiful, guys, beautiful. Look, look how look how good this community is. Look how fast on the ball they are. Look at all that scrub hype. All that scrub hype. Okay. So, Junkrat Temple of Anubis. Actually a good pick. Actually, like, one of the few instances I would say that Junkrat is fine. But let's talk about why Junkrat often isn't fine while these guys figure out what they're going to be doing. Okay. Overwatch is kind of a unique game. In the Overwatch has had this problem for ages, and they sort of semi-fix it at one point. Where there used to be, if you took damage, you would actually gain ultimate charge. It's like a comeback mechanism. And Blizzard realized that that, me that mechanism is kind of bullshit, because it means you don't want to shoot certain people. Like, uh, you, you don't ever want to shoot a Roadhog, for example, if you can't kill him, because you're just building his ultimate for him. Um, they got rid of that feature during the beta, and then, like, but ever since... It's still been a problem where if you're just dealing damage and not getting kills, all you're doing is feeding the enemy team ultimate. And sure, you're gaining ultimate at the same time, but if you're Junkrat, Junkrat's ultimate is probably the worst in the game. You'd be very hard pressed to find an ultimate that is worse than Riptire. Uh, it's just, it's easier to kill, it's loud to find, it rarely gets more than one kill. It can't zone very well like a Deadeye can, for example. I'd say Deadeye is also up there with like some of the worst ultimates. Um, but Deadeye has very, very functional sort of pieces. <clears throat> oh, forgive me. So, Junkrat's problem is that he can deal a lot of damage, but he very, very rarely can kill things. Now, Junkrat's strengths, like, if you watched my video about mini objectives and priorities, like, let's think about what makes this hero good. What makes Junkrat good? Well, he can shit out a ton of damage, and he can do it very safely. He doesn't even have to be looking at where he's putting the damage, right? He can just pump it out, pump it out, pump it out, pump it out, pump it out. Nothing can stop him. He can also control areas very, very well using stuff like the, the trap and the bomb. The trap is actually, to me, a very underrated component in his kit. It's very powerful. Very, very powerful. Um, so... It's a really, really strong resource. As, as we see, we instantly get like 50% ultimate charge. We almost probably get a kill on something there. Now then, I'm going to first of all, before as we like launch into this game, as this game begins, uh, I'm going to comment on this defensive position. This is a terrible defensive position. Like, why? why what? No. 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 You want to let the enemy team come into the choke. You want to suck them in. Remember, suck them in. Bring them into the choke. This is way too far forward for this Reinhardt. The enemy team can literally just stay back here. They've got a large health pack over this way, a large health pack over this way. Actually, oh, 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 before I forget. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? I'm going to bring up... No, don't tell me about easy jet. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I find this program that is specifically installed for this? I'm going to go to a different screen. Because I, I, I'm so proud of myself for actually, like, getting this program up and running. And then I forget to use it. And I'm sure it's installed somewhere, and I'm sure I have the shortcut for it somewhere. Sensible. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I think I'm actually going red there. There it is. Epic Pen. Uh, Epic Pen XE. Okay. It's not EpiPen. It's not actually, it's not a, uh... 
Did it load? We're up. Uh, come on! It worked before! I tested it. There we go. Okay, it's loaded up. Oh, God. It's professional streaming, ladies and gents. Okay, let's go back to this screen. Uh, coaching vid. Okay, so now that I've got this, now I can do this. So over this way. Hey, yeah, we can do it. No, you just over that way there's a large health pack like over this way for the enemy team there's a large health pack over this way for the enemy team so they got health here and here they can just spend all their time just shooting into this barrier no fucking problem like it's just no issue at all so reinhardt's defending here and all he's really doing is just getting shot from like every angle on the sun every single angle on the sun he's just gonna die isn't it cool i think it's so cool um <laughs> that we have this tool now where you really want to be is not there Oop. Okay, now I need to turn it off. It's a mouse cursor, thank you. Can I get rid of the note? It's, okay, we're gonna have a start menu throughout this entire thing. So you see all my lovely programs. Look, this is stream alerts, this is, uh, this is OBS, there you go. That's all you need to know. Now he's starting to pull back, but something stupid happens here where, okay, like let's think about our strengths as Junkrat. Well, we're good at defending chokes, and you'll see most Junkrats hold in this location here because shooting through this door is super cool. Uh, it's like so so hard to push through here if there's a junk right you just can't do it and so where we really wanted to be set up is I like the trap that we had at the start of the game okay I like this trap yeah I know surely I know you've suggested this for ages and we managed to f I managed to find it like Ryan pointed out what program it was and I got it working so thank you you and Ryan I like this trap but where we should have really run is to the left here wait 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 we should have gone this way and into the doorway. <laughs> oh fuck! No. Oh, God, there's a pink thing on the screen now. There we go. Uh, so we should have gone that way. Um, we should have just stayed in there and spam from there because what that will do is it denies the enemy team any access to this way, and they're probably going to take losses if they try and go that way. Good use of the conk mine. Good amount of damage. Like conk mine is something you just want to spam out for reliable damage if you aren't aware. Oh, for God's sake, I can't even see the volume. Okay, if I. Is there any way for me to, like, let me move this off this screen. There we go. Okay, that works. That works nicely. Um, just so I can turn the volume down. So, well, what was I saying? So, the thing with Comp Mine, Comp Mine does 100 damage if it lands right next to someone. It's a huge amount of damage. Actually, you're, you're basically, I see Comp Mine as your finisher, but the big problem with defending down here and not covering this side is exactly this. And we're going to see one of the big problems with Junkrat, where we want to kill the Soldier 76. He's right in our face. We get him once. We don't have Comp Mine. And, and he's just he's just killing everyone and this is sort of this is the problem with junk crap this is the problem with hanzo this is the problem with anything with unreliable dps is he's right here he's right fucking here and we can't kill him like we get one grenade on him a second grenade and he's done but we we just can't do it it just doesn't happen because conk mine is down because we used it to reposition and because we, we just can't finish him this is the problem with junk rat is now he's healing up and it's like oh now we can get a conk mine out but it's too little too late he's already healed up and everyone's already dead because they're defending too far towards the choke and now they're all going to die so yeah this defense was kind of doomed to begin with but it sort of hard to see that a the defense was too far forward b we weren't covering the angle that we were the strongest with hi boys thank you zombie uh, that's either zombie i think it's zombie aura like zombie clan aura but i keep wanting to say zombie laura Laura, who is also a zombie. Um, so we weren't covering the angle where we're our strongest. And so the like if we were in this choke, our team can hold this side. Wait, 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 wait. This is a perfect opportunity. Okay, so if we're in the choke like over here and just spamming out damage this way, and our team's just defending over this way, where can their team go? Nowhere is the answer. They have to either come through your entire team or they have to come into you, in which case you can just fall back and come back this way and then start pissing around up here where no one can come save you. Hopefully then the diva just like repulls up here and then does all this stuff. And then, you know, this guy dies and this guy dies and the, the, there's bombs here that we're dead. Oh, sorry, I'm having fun now. Oh, God, I keep forgetting to turn off the... There, there we go. I'm having too much fun now. Ah. Uh. Zeta has a good point, but he, he altered the hog when the wheel's in the air. The Junkrat ult does about 585 damage into the air and 600 when it's on the floor. That's why he didn't one-shot the hog. I'd say the ult there was like, it was a desperation move anyway. Like, at best, this Riptire, I think is a perfectly fine use of Riptire. I think it's ambitious and optimistic, um, but you might get a couple of kills here and you might be able to swing the fight. It's a bit of a shame that it didn't kill him, but like Zeta says, it does more damage when it's on the floor. I actually didn't know that. If that's true, then... Hey, we've learned something new. 
And like, let's talk about Junkrat and against this comp, right? The enemy team is running a very traditional triple. Like, they're running the the bread and butter. We actually get a glimpse of the team lineup there. So let's have a look at it. Enemy team is running the bread and butter triple tank, right? It's it's as boring as boring can be. They've got a diva that helps counteract you. They've got a Reinhardt. They've got a Roadhog, Soldier, and at Lucia. This is this is standard as standard could be. Meanwhile, we got the the Mercy Anna. We have shit loads of healing. So much healing. I think it's an old bug from the beta. Interesting. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, did I get the damage value wrong for, um... Conk Mine? I'm sure I probably did. Conk deals 120, okay. About 100 damage, whatever. 120. Good to know. Either way, you generally just need one grenade, one conk to kill someone. Okay, and now we're in a good position. Now we can just spam, 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 spam. And this is what we've got to do. Anytime that Rhinop barrier is up, like, I'd like to see a trap here. We're going a bit too far there. I think, it, honestly, if you just leave the trap uh, at the top of the stairs, people generally can't see it coming up. That might work a little bit better. And it means they're trapped in a location where we can just pull back and shoot them, rather than putting it all the way at the bottom. But we need to be putting pressure on this push at the front as soon as we can as well. I'm getting back there, because, like... One advantage we have as Junkrat is we shit out tons of damage, tons and tons of damage, absolute monstrosity of damage that Junkrat is. Uh, we're a little ball of death, so if we're spamming into this and the Reinhardt's trying to grind forward, it actually makes it very hard for a Reinhardt to do, uh, to grind into. Because if you've ever been the Reinhardt, you know how bad it is pushing into a Junkrat, you've got to push super fast. And you can't afford to drop the barrier. And honestly, jump right into triple tank is actually not too bad in terms of actual team fighting because they're big targets, they're easy to hit, so you can start getting finishing blows. I'd like to see the trap in combat redeployment of the trap. I'd like to see it about here. When an opportunity to drop it here. This diva, if she keeps going this way, fine, but we've also got like the Anna coming in. People are running in this way, they're more likely to just run around this corner. So putting the trap like literally right here would have been perfectly fine. Rather than putting it over here, where Diva might back into it. Now we're literally, we got landed the grenade, all I'm thinking about is this one second cooldown. If we could just lob this into this mess, then we're probably shunting these guys away and dealing enough damage where we could probably get some kills. Diva drives super fast, super, super fast to junk rat bombs with enough spam, but hey, Legend! Legend, being the ledge he is, comes in and gets a clean up anyway. So we've managed to distract enough and um, killed everything. Okay, we've got a rip tire as well. That's honestly pretty good. Having a rip tire is quite nice. This trap, like, I didn't like this placement of this trap when I first watched this. I thought, oh no. If someone's already going down here, they're already out of the fight. What I like to do with my traps when I'm playing Junkrat is I like to tr just occupy choke points and make it hard. Uh, I noticed actually you start doing this earlier, but I find, uh, start doing this later, is I find, like, right here is a really nice place for a trap. It's far enough in that people generally don't spot it until they're, like, you know, actually in. And then their, think about their team in terms of like who can actually deal with traps. Pretty much nobody can uh, on their team. Only really Soldier can deal with it and the Lucio who has enough free time. Otherwise they have like Diva who can't, like has to be stood on top of it to kill it. Reinhardt can't really kill it. He can't afford to drop his barrier to get rid of it. Rodog doesn't want to use all four of his shots. Um, there, There's Ryan. Yes, Ryan. I already meant I can't actually move the chat window because I've got Epic Pen. Selected. Yes, thank you, Ryan. Here he is. This this man, Ryan Central, told me to use this alongside with like Shirley and a few others in the chat. Congratulations, Ryan. Uh, but like no one on their team could displace these traps very easily. So it honestly becomes a huge problem when the Reinhardt's trying to advance forward. And remember what I said earlier, where we are just shitting out damage by like the million. Uh Reinhardt wants to get into us nice and quickly. If he's stuck on a trap, he can't get into us nice and quickly. It means that Diva, you, and Soldier can all just spam into his barrier, and it's going to go down like that. And never underestimate the power of that. This is, again, the power of Junkrat. We could just spam from the side and just put, make this Reinhardt's life a living hell. And the barrier's already down. Uh, Shatter. Lads on their team. Reinhardt goes for a fucking merry ride and just dies in the back. Someone actually did fall for this trap as well, which is good for us. I guess someone got knocked down maybe or ran down. But they're already broken up. And he's, this is the power of Junkrat, right? Even though we didn't, like, do much, it feels like. You know, we didn't get any big kills. We didn't get any major DPS down. Us just shelling this barrier meant that they use sound barrier. We are shatter, cancel, so that sound barrier is instantly mitigated. Their Reinhardt dies, their push is fucking done. 
this is what we want to be doing, right? This is what we want to be doing with Junkrat. Is the longer they take to push, the slower they push, the better we get. And now we're just feeling good, man. Oh, shit, hello. How did, how did he get here somehow? But we're literally in cleanup phase right now. Honestly, this is excessive. We don't really need to be using this. But hey, now it's getting greedy. We're very lucky to get that, Anna. This is pure greed, I think. Um, just because... Like, this should have died about now. Uh, especially if Soldier was paying attention. Just landed one shot of it, Anna lands one shot on it, it goes down. We were very lucky to get that, Anna. I would have been fine just trying to clip the uh, Diva, but I would have honestly been more fine holding on to it. Because the fight's already done. Like, they have a Soldier who's sort of out on his own, just shooting on his own. They have a Roadhog that's already half dead on his own on the point. He's stuck behind a Reinhardt barrier, so he's not going to get healing, because... He's already... So, like, this guy is dead. Basically, the second that people pay attention to him, we can help kill that nice and easy. If he tries to heal, we blow him up. Whatever. No problem. The Diva Bomb gets blown as well. Doesn't do anything. Like, the fight was already over. We didn't need to use that, basically. We could have held it for the next push, maybe, and then just tried to cancel the push. And now, now we're just spamming, and that's all we need to do. We want to be a little bit careful now, though we do get a kill, and this is sort of the advantage of spam. This is where it gets tricky on Junkrat, right? Where you're basically relying on the enemy team to fuck up uh, and take suddenly sudden high amounts of splash damage. Um, because what we're trying to do is punish them for peeking and punish them for doing stupid things and just taking like soldier hits and then you at the same time or a fire strike and one of your shots at the same time because then they will just they should just probably die. Um, and then you'll get a lucky pick like that and you'll stall their push even further, which means you can spam even longer. The scary part for us is that while we're doing all of this. Lucio is building Sound Barrier at an exceptional rate. Anna is building Nano Boost at an exceptional rate. They are all building stuff at, like, far faster. Where the fuck was this Reinhardt? Reinhardt? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What, what? We should be paying attention to this, though. And your Reinhardt should be calling this out. Because we're about to get flanked by a Reinhardt. Luckily we have a mercy. Okay. That was very silly. Let me listen to call outs. Because this is this is shit you call, guys. And this there's no excuse uh actually no, the Reinhardt's Uber Soul that who I'm not sure was doing calls. And because I remember watching this that this king person was very vocal. Uh but some of the others weren't. But a Reinhardt on the flank is absolutely something that people need to call out. Because shit like this happens. Luckily, we all die in a big clump. And that, like, there's just nothing we can do about that at that point. But we've got to re-engage. Way, mercy. Sights. Feels bad, man. Oh, God, all the ultimates. Their re-engage was really good. Used a lot of resources for it. Diva Bomb. Okay, nice, nice, nice. There was nothing we could do there. Like, that was Sights, Whole Hog. We're not getting... We're not running away because Whole Hog's keeping us in place and we're not surviving Sights. Okay, okay. Still, surprisingly, like, we're managing to hold a little bit. Okay, let's try and get back in here a little bit, and try and get the tire out. Uh, we- slight misposition there, but good job keeping the Reinhardt back. We're gonna, like, this is instant suicide, just because we were stood literally in the doorway. And I would have liked to see us just actually go out this way. Luckily... Something very stupid's about to happen. <laughs> uh, sometimes things just go your way. So in this instance, because we're already exposed, I would have liked to see us go this way, and like this this is suicide, because we're in the doorway. So we can be seen, we're just gonna get shot no matter what happens. So I'd like to just see us go like out this direction and just try and blow up as soon as we can. And do a suicide tire. Although actually maybe going that way the fire strike might have just killed us. So maybe we did the right thing going all the way around. I'm just always wary of like the tire getting destroyed. And somehow, I'm I'm, I'm highlighting this for emphasis. This has happened. That, if you aren't aware, is Junkrat's passive. Uh, so Anna has literally killed herself on top of this stationary Junkrat. Ugh. I knew, uh, so I knew the Reinhardt was coming out that door, so I was trying to get behind him. Okay, fair enough. Fair dues. But the fact that Reinhardt fire strikes you probably means that it was probably a better idea to go that way, to be honest. So yeah, I'm fine with that. Like, it was the right decision to use the tire there. It was just a bit of a shame that we did it and stood in the doorway. But somehow it worked out. The Anna just decided to stand on your corpse. And 
that was fucking stupid. Uh, guys, just just for your information, don't stand on a dead junk rat, because um, because otherwise you lose the fight. <laughs> and still not overly keen on that health pack. Like I'd like to see our I like to see our um, traps either in the main. Or on these flanks. And again, that Reinhardt just walks in. Oh shit. Luckily, it's gone too far. Like to see us put a trap underneath this diva. So, um, interesting. Fun facts. If we can just get a bit closer, put the trap under. Odds are that the first thing she's going to do when she gets into the mech is start firing. And she pretty much does that, running around in the same location. We could have had her trapped, but it's not going to matter too much. Everyone's just dead anyway. Mercy. Nope. 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 Doesn't matter, that's already done. Feels bad, man. I can't, I still, I can't believe that Anna's done this. But again, I'd like to see these traps just dealing with choke points more than trying to catch people off. Because, like, if you think about who you can kill in a single shot with the traps on this team as well, it's like you can kill the soldier, the Anna, the Lucio, and the baby diva. Anything else is a tank. You're not going to blow them up in a single hit. So you want to be using them to sort of spot out and scout and see where the push is coming from. And then you want to be counteracting that push or you want to be slowing down flankers uh, and just putting the trap in locations like that. Traps like that are very good if they have like a Genji or a Tracer because they're going to be running for the health packs. But otherwise, that's just not going to be happening. Uh, now, wisely, we're not going to be playing Junkrat on offense. Way, why don't we play Junkrat on offense? Pretty fucking simple, right? Junkrat's kit is all about sort of zoning, area denial, spamming out damage down a choke point. Not good on offense. The enemy team just positions further back and just heals up. Like, not really gonna work. So we go Diva. Uh, Diva, an interesting pick these days. Got nerfed pretty heavily. So let's think about what makes Diva good. What makes Diva useful? Well, Defense Matrix is incredibly powerful. Defense Matrix is really, really good. If you're going to be maximizing anything on D.Va's kit, like what makes D.Va a good hero is Defense Matrix. That's literally it. That's, that's the thing we want to be maximizing. After that is stuff like high mobility um, and good dueling in a sort of close-up one versus one situation. She's very good at sort of pressuring people down. Um, otherwise, like she's nowhere near as survivable as she was before. This is actually a huge change to her survivability, so now she's actually quite squishy. Uh, so you've got to be very careful. You're also just very large and you have a very big head. So you're very easy to get killed. Uh, very easy to get killed. Um, so Being able to screw up your push on Dorado? Yeah, well, actually, that's a very good point. So yesterday, uh, like chat just pointed out, yesterday we had a match on Dorado where we pretty much lost uh, the game because they had a D.Va and D.Va just ate Munals, uh, ate one of my grenades and ate all of Soldier's damage when I was playing Anna. And she just blocked out. And that's a good example of like Defense Matrix just being fucking good. Yeah, as he t as, uh, Zeta already spotted and said about the concussive bomb. No worries about that. So, let's look at our team comp. Let's think about our role in this team comp, okay? We have a Zarya, we have got a Reinhardt. We can definitely augment this Reinhardt's strength quite heavily. Then we got a... What else have we got? What, what's our... We actually get a full look at the team comp. I can't see it. Oh, well, whatever. Um, so, I'm actually trying to see what our DPS is, aside from these five. But whatever, we have like a tanky tanky comp. We want to be augmenting the, the Reinhardt strength. Okay, so we're going this way. Yeah, this is the first push. And again, we just want to be blocking damage, make sure the Reinhardt's nice and strong. Someone's lagging behind, that's them fucked, basically. And we should definitely start putting pressure out here. Again, just shelling away. Now let's start blocking some damage. One of the best things we can actually do is... Um, ah, we got a soldier. Okay, that makes sense. One of the best things we can do actually here is defense matrix and stop this Anna's healing. Uh, Diva is actually somewhat unique in that she can completely deny any healing on Anna. Completely deny any healing Anna does. So you'd be surprised in these occasions where like these team fights happening, especially in the change that she's getting in the coming patch. Um, where you can't just like hit things on the floor beneath you and you can't just run up stuff and do super close range. Um, you can just prevent all the healing coming out of Anna in this nice, fight. Nice. Mercy low. Ah. And it's actually really obnoxious to do because if you think about like how a tank survives in fights like this, it's oh, stuff like the Anna just keeping them up. So if you just deny the Anna's healing, if you think about it in terms of like Anna healing a splash target, a heal grenade target, it's like 120 to 130 heals per second. 
if you cut that healing off, you're dealing effectively 130 damage per second. Like, it's staggering how big that is. If you catch the heal grenade, you just denied, you know, if it's about to hit their entire team, you just denied a phenomenal amount of heal, like 400 healing or something stupid. So, defense matrix, think of it in terms of, like, the opportunity cost of the enemy team when you're blocking all that damage out. And especially early in fights where an Anna is just trying to pump healing out, if you just block the Anna and just keep her, stop her doing her job, it's so effective. And it opens stuff up, like the Reinhardt could just start bursting people down, Zarek could just go kill things. It's really, really strong. And now we're just in cleanup mode. Not too worried. Just churn that Diva down. We can churn the Sari down. Okay, it feels good, man. Correct, cool, with three on. The reason why we want to have three people uh, on this as soon as possible is we want to maximize the amount of opportunity, we, like the amount of time this area is down. So Zarya is dead. By having three people on here, we get the most out of that Zarya dying there. And I see people do this all the time where you, like, they'll get picks and then you'll have one person on the point. But if one person's on the point, that gives the enemy team time to respawn. And you're running in, but by the time you run, it's just, just cap the fucking point. Get three people on it and start pushing the next point. This Reinhardt's basically thrown, and now we could just go. Uh, don't keep defense matrix up here. The reason why is simple: the amount of damage we do at this distance is zero. So we want to be making it safe for our team to sprint in as fast as possible. I'm okay with that bomb actually. It buys us a bit of space. Like I was actually all right with that bomb. Because what this this isn't so much a naked diva bomb, this is a zoning diva bomb, and it opens up a corridor for our team to push into. So by having this bomb, it is now safe for our team to basically run forward because the enemy team has to sort of go this way and this way and this way. And like the enemy team is so busy panicking about all this. This was a terrible arrow, by the way. The enemy team's so busy panicking about all that shit that we're just running in. We're probably not gonna get many kills, but it means that soldier can be here, for example, and get onto the point nice and safely. And now we get back into the mech and we could just... Oh damn it, Sights has gone off, we want to block that. And then... King just gets a fucking godly eye shatter. It's counter, but whatever. We're honestly not too worried about the bomb. The bomb doesn't concern us too much, because... The only worst thing it's going to do is knock us out of the mech, which isn't too bad. And we actually get knocked away from it, so it doesn't matter anyway. Good, good, good. Uh, don't be afraid to just block this. Like, again, our damage output on a D.Va who is nano boosted with armor still is... Zero. Like, it's it's effectively zero. We should just be blocking her damage output. Let everyone else deal the damage. We, we have full defense matrix. There's no reason why we shouldn't, we shouldn't... Oh, why we shouldn't be blocking this. We should be killing this, though. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just churn her down. Don't be afraid, by the way, to use the jump jets to finish targets off. It does about 25 damage when you impact stuff. It might be 20 uh, when you impact stuff. And then, yeah. It's just a good way of finishing stuff off. Okay, good, 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 good. We tried to knock them off the point. When that knockback fails, by the way, uh, so what we're trying to do here is basically bump these people off the point. Right now it's charging, surprised being caught by that, fine, whatever. I'm going to be shelling into this, and then don't be afraid to just put a, the barrier up on him every now and then. If you, like, if you think about the time the rocket flies, just flicking the defense matrix on and off, you'll be surprised how often you just catch a rocket, because the rocket has travel time, so you only need it to be inside the, the field for a split second and it will be deleted. And your team's already in position, like, your team's in a good position already to deal damage, they don't really need more. So I'd be happy with just, like, alternating damage and alternating block. Just providing that extra bit of tankiness. Now it's starting to get a bit hairy, luckily Soldier's still in a good position. Good Earth Shatter as well, Soldier should still be able to get a bunch of kills. Hoping to see Soldier in the kill feed, why isn't Soldier in the kill feed more? Hmm. Get back to the fight so we can see what's going on. And okay, your team's cleaned up. There we go, soldiers visored. I'm happy with us being here, body blocking. Unfortunately, the enemy team decides to all come out one side, but hey. Nice and easy, and then this soldier 76 kills himself because he drifts too far to the left and rockets right into their thing, I think. Ugh, 